Hi Alex, can you start by telling us what an artificial reef actually is? Yeah, so I think people really get confused when they hear the term artificial reef. An artificial reef is not supposed to be a fake looking reef that you have in a fish tank or anything like that. Basically an artificial reef is supposed to provide the skeletal structure for corals to then grow on top of. So sort of providing that structural substrate for corals to get a better hold uh, onto and then better access uh, to you know, currents and sunlight. So instead of having just a sand bottom, you know, where corals can't grow, uh, if you have an artificial reef, you give them a hard structure to grow and they can flourish a lot easier. A few different kinds of artificial reef already exist. What makes Mars different to what's already on the market? What makes it innovative? So the biggest problem with existing artificial reefs is that they use, uh, you know, they require really heavy uh, equipment to install like huge barges and cranes, whereas Mars can be installed using small boats and canoes, which is really important for poorer areas that don't have access to these big types of equipment. Um, and it can be installed by divers that go down to the ocean floor and click it together, just like a Lego system. I think it's a really interesting uh, restoration method because people get to be involved with it. So people, especially with the modular system, you know, small, small communities that deploy these units, I think uh, then have a more of a relationship to that artificial reef that they've installed because they physically installed it themselves and you don't have to be, you know, a, an expert to install these systems. You just need a scuba diving license or even a free diving license if you can hold your breath for long enough. Um, so that's why I think is really interesting uh, with, with my, um, my product is I think human beings really want to have that connection to the environment. I think when you go scuba diving and you see it, you know, you actually experience the environment, you feel much more connected to it. And I think it's that sort of ideology that we're trying to implement with this product as well.